We were, um, about six months ago, we were thinking about taking on a new member of staff. And um, we decided to go down the apprentice route. And when Barry approached us, we thought it was the right option for us. So we started the process fairly quickly. It, it was a really easy process dealing with Barry from resources. He, he actually approached us. Um, coincidentally, at the time, we were thinking of taking on an apprentice. Um, very easy to deal with, very easy to speak to, had loads of questions and he was more than happy to answer them and the process of taking on the actual apprentice was over the space of about a week um, and it all went very smoothly. During the, the week that we took on the apprentice we had a, a number that came to our office so Barry sent through candidates that he thought would be appropriate for the job, we had a chance to interview them and um, we got them back in to, to then speak to the member of staff that's going to be working with them and then we basically just chose the one that we thought was appropriate. Yep, he's, our apprentice has been with us for a couple of months now and um, he's joined the maintenance team and um, so he's out in the field, he's working with uh, another member of staff together so he's being trained, he's being allowed to do things himself and he's fitted into the team very well um, and we're looking forward to working with him in the future as well. The, the main benefit of having the apprentice is he has come straight from school so he's, he's very keen to learn and he's taking everything on very quickly and we're hoping that taking on a, a young apprentice means he can stay with us for a long time and, and become a, a, an integral part of the team. We, we didn't really have anything in mind, it was a completely new process to us, we, we sort of saw what we thought would be the benefits and when Barry came along we, we were right in those benefits as it, as it all seemed to work out. Um, and if we did have any questions or any concerns, the resources were there on hand to speak to us. It's very, um, very straightforward, to be honest with you, but the, mo the biggest problem is that most businesses are a little bit apprehensive about taking a young person into the business and how much time they might have to spend with them. So initially what I want to do is have a consultation with the business to find out whether an apprentice is right or not. Um, because although it's a great low-cost option to businesses, it's not always the right option. So initially I want to speak to the business, find out exactly whether it's the right option. Then we look at see if we can find the right candidate. We'll maybe advertise the role on the National Apprenticeship website and in any other uh, locations that we feel is appropriate. Once we've done that, I will filter the applicants to try and find three or four that are suitable to send along for the company to interview. Then once the company's interviewed that young person, then we'll look to set a start date if they find somebody amongst them. If they don't find somebody amongst them, if they're not happy with them, we can start the process all over again because it's all about finding the right young person for the right role. And I believe that most companies are scared of, of, of not finding the right person, shall we say. It, it's, it's pretty scary to think <clears throat> that if you take a young person on, you're tied with them, you've got that responsibility. However, think about how many hours of the day are spent doing things that you could have an apprentice doing? So if you're a joiner and you need a length of wood cutting and you're cutting lengths of wood, you're not actually building the, the stud walling, your apprentice could be doing that. That's what apprentices do. If you've got a busy office and you're constantly answering the phone and the nuisance calls from people like me, you can get your apprentice, apprentice to answer the phone, save you that time. How much is that time actually worth to you? How much is it worth to you? But you need to speak to somebody about it. Don't, don't keep thinking it over and over again in your head. Speak to somebody. At Resources North East, we're happy to speak to anybody about taking an apprentice on. If we don't deliver the training for that type of apprenticeship, we will find the company locally that offers that sort of training. We will help you. We're not just about filling vacancies or getting vacancies for our company. We're about helping young people and helping businesses because in the long run, it'll help us all.